Hi, I'm Tim Dorsey. I'm the farm manager at the Q Farm here at Butler University in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're a project of the Butler Center for Urban Ecology and Sustainability, and I'm here with the director. I'm Julia Engstman. We are experimenting in a one-acre uh, agroecology project here on campus. We grow a wide variety of vegetables, fruit, a few nuts, um, and mushrooms, which we were enabled to do through our partnership with SARE. So part of the reason why we wanted to grow, try growing mushrooms in Indianapolis is not many people were doing it. Um, we had a partnership grant with um, three other farms um, in the city who are all pretty much under an acre um, in size. And we all wanted to explore how to grow mushrooms using waste stream product, products that individual farmers may have access to. So it's kind of cool, every farm did something a little bit different. Um, we focused on log production primarily, um, shiitake and oysters to start. We looked at um, a few goals when wanting to get into growing mushrooms. One was we wanted to expand our potential revenue streams here where we um, are largely self-supported um, through the revenues we um, are able to raise through our markets. Um, but also we wanted to be able to enrich our space as much as possible um, with a diversity already of plants and hopefully insects and other kinds of animals. Um, but I thought of it also as uh, enriching and expanding what kind of product we could offer, specifically mushrooms being a good source of protein, and we don't associate that with a lot of the produce that comes off the farm. Um, so diversifying in a few different ways. Um, I'd also like to get into uh, growing mushrooms on some wood chips and compost products um, intermingled with some of our uh, vegetable and perennial crops around the farm. So we'll be doing some enrichment of the soil through the actual growing of the mushrooms as well. I think urban, small scale urban farms that are diversified uh, provide resiliency to the larger global food system. Uh, it also helps bring people closer to food and how it's grown. Uh, we, have, we have a lot of tours to elementary and middle school age students that have never seen how a tomato grows on a plant. Um, and so it's, a, it's an opportunity to teach people, to bring people back to their roots, and to make them appreciate good, healthy food. Farms our size, um, also I think, I think of our acre basically as um, a model slash experiment in, in um, a different way to think about agriculture. So our one acre doesn't change the world in and of itself, but we and others doing similar projects um, like this can throw a lot of stuff at the wall and um, see what is effective, see what works for our customer base, see what works for our type of uh, soil and our space, um, and um, maybe inspire others to do similar projects. Um, and we kind of look at what we do here as growing food, but also improving our space ecologically um, and, and trying to create a greater diversity uh, in our little one acre here. Thank you.